Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, I have already discussed about the things with you, how can create that relationship between both of this table, right? That is the two of this table. Perfect. So now in this video, I want to do, I want to edit our blog post. Now let's do that work for doing this. That is in our all blog and that is one of the action as edit and that is our delete, right? First of all, I want to complete that edit portion. If you go to our project, right now block model we don't need this block add page hmm, that will be needed hmm, that will be needed portfolio controller and sidebar right now that sidebar we need that our blog view page that means if you go to our blogs and that is our blog all and you can see that is our edit functionality right now we are already into the for each loop i have already get all that our blogs data at this id item now with this item we'll get that our id because we have to edit it with a specific one of the id now i want to create one of the new route i name it as a edit blog okay i name it as a edit blog and also that have one of the id now go to our web route into this web route that will be another get method i copy it and then i paste it okay so now that should be i hope it's very clear to you uh, in our here i name it as edit blog i copy it so that will be our name route i'll be as edit blog i make it as edit blog and also after that here we have to do we have to pass one of the id right i simply pass one of the requested id and i want to create another new method i want to create another new method as edit block okay now i want to create our edit block method in our home block controller now go to our block controller here after this i want to simply name it as a public and then function and then our edit block so into this edit block area here that should be our same functionality i pass on the id i simply pass one of the id that is our requested id right so here i have already uh, pass on the requested id right so i pass it in our um, route as a id and now that will be our requested id and after that what exactly you have to do we have to simply get this data so that will be the same if you go our blog post i have already covered a lot of the time right that is our all blog i copy it and now here i paste it so before i get all that our latest data so now we have to get that our specific requested id data right so if you want to get that requested id data then we have to do we have to make it as a which thing we have to make it as a find or fail right so that will be the find find or fail by the find or fail method i want to get our requested id that i have already taken that is our id right so that is our requested id so it should be get that our requested id take the things with this variable now in our return view in our admin there is a blog i want to create another new page as a block edit okay block edit page and here i want to do to pass this data a specific requested id data i take it and then i pass it by the compact method in our block edit page now i want to create our page as a block edit page in our block folder so into this block folder i want to create another new file click as a save as and i just name it as a block edit.blade.php okay so now everything will be just like our add page like in our blog add i copy everything okay i copy everything and now in our edit page here i paste it great so here one things you have to understand mm, here also we have to do we have to load all that our categories right uh, we have to load all that our categories so for the reasons i want to do and to also pass that our categories data so that will be just like this one okay i simply copy it because also our category should be selected here i paste it so there is a categories from our block category one of the model with this i want to get that our block category ascending order all that get data now i want to do i want to also pass it in our block edit page so if you want to pass it into the compact method i want to pass another variable another one as a category okay now our specific id data i get it by the blocks and our categories data i get it from our block category table and i just simply take it with this variable here i pass it in our block edit page great now if you go to our block edit page uh, like i make it as a edit okay edit block page Mm, then that is a blog category name name should be selected you can see that is one of the select form here also we have to add one of the condition 
and cause that should be as a selected so i will do the things later right now first of all there is a block title we don't need to add any validation i have already removed that validation so right now it's totally fine only we have to display the value right i want to use that another value our value will be which one our value will be i have already get a specific id data i get that specific id data by the variable as a blocks right so i have already passed it in our blocks edit page now with our blocks that is a with our blocks i want to do to access our field name our field name if you go that means our title should be display right this is very simple process if you go to that structure field name as a block title i copy it now our in our value area it should be loaded our block title great and also better i copy it i copy it and then the tags for the tags that is on the default value you can see before i have used the default value now i want to use our dynamic value which is selected a specific this one will be display our field name our field name as a block tax i simply copy it now that will be as a block tax okay now our value should be displayed the description description here we don't need to pass any value in our tax area here we have to display it so our field name our field name as a block description data so block block description data should be loaded the images okay everything will be just like that same okay everything will be same and here i have already insert some of the some of the image okay here if you want to display that image that means existing image you can also display it you can display it by the variable as a blog okay now that should be the same things better first of all i have to use that as an asset and then we have to use it with the dollar sign that is a blocks and our image field name our image field name as a blog image right so that will be display our blog image perfect perfect now everything great everything is great okay everything is great so right now there is a categories data is i have already take that our categories data with the same variable you can see now that should be also loaded our categories data now let's check this out click as a save all and now if you go and now i want to refresh it and now like as a view js here if you click as a edit hmm, you can see our category title that is a block title is successfully loaded our view js that is the only one tag i have selected that is a value is loaded our description is loaded and our existing image is also loaded with our that is our requested id right perfect but here one thing so you can see our all that category is loaded that means our block category is loaded so for a specific this requested three i have also selected one of the specific um, category name right so now that should be also as a selected right so here if you want to do this work we have to add one of the condition right we have to add one of the condition our condition will be which things our condition is very simple like when our blocks so that is a block stable that is one of the category block category id when that block category id will be matched with our block category table that is the id okay that means like as a three when that will be matched with our three then that will be selected okay so i want to do to put this condition uh, like here that is our category name right so i want to do and to put on the condition in particular that area like first of all i want to do i simply loaded that condition condition will be our i have already get our categories data you can see i have already get all that our categories data pass it by that category variable and here there is a category as a cat right so now with this we are able to access our block categories table field right so i want to don't access it so i just simply loaded with the cat with this cat i want to access our block categories table id field so okay so that is our id i want to access that id great when this id will be equal equal okay when that will be as equal equal which are which one when that will be equal equal or block or block table there is a block category id right here when it should be matched so all that our block data all that our block data i have already get it uh, a specific requested id i have get it with the blocks right i have also passed it into the compact in our edit so now if you want to access our block table um, that is block category id field then we have to access it by the block right so now i want to done to copy it now the simple condition i want to use it so that that will be as a blocks and with these blocks i want to access our field name our field name as a block category underscore id so you want to use it as a blog 
okay, blog underscore category okay underscore id so now is i simply loaded that things in here when both of this will be match okay when both of this will be match then i want that is one of the option values so here i want to do i want to make it as a selected okay so that means that will be as a selected so i simply put it that condition okay when that will be match then then i want to make it as a selected okay so that will be a selected so that is actually one of the default class as a selected okay then that will be as a selected else else it will be as a empty okay friend now i hope it is very clear when our category table id will be match with our blocks table block category id then it will be as a selected else it will be as a empty and then that will be display our category name which is totally fine now let's check this out click as a save all so right now for this post uh, that is our view js board right before the view js board you can see there is a category id as a five right so that is our five and if you go you can see that is a five so when both of this will be matched then our category that is a block category name will be selected now let's check this out if you now go to our project now that should be selected as a view js now click as a refresh Mm, you can see it's now successfully selected as a Vue.js. If you go to our another post, now go to our all blog. Like right now, that is a React. Okay, so now if you click as edit, yes, you can see it's now successfully selected as a React. Our title is selected, our tag is selected, our description here I have already updated that bold. Now you can see it's also successfully loaded and that images perfect. So now friend we have to do we have to um, update it right so better i want to change that our menu name so that that will be that is our button name will be as a update okay i make it as a update block data and also from here we have to pass our requested id right so that is one of the requested id so if you want to pass it i have shared both of this with you you can pass it in our route area rather than you can pass it into the input field so better i want to use it now as an input field our type will be as a hidden type i name as a id and also here we have to pass that value id so i have already get our specific id data with the blog right so that is our blog so now with this blog i want to access our id right so with this blog i want to do and to access that id perfect so now i want to click as a save all but i want to continue this process in our next video i will I'll work for our form i have to create another route for the update i hope friend every part every concept is very much clear to you but you have to do you have to practice it okay so in our next video we'll complete our update portion so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video